Hello friends, welcome to Oracle 21C new feature video series. This video is a continuation of previous video that talks about the for loop enhancements introduced from 21C. So before getting into the documentation and demo for this video, I just want to quickly show you the complete for loop statement introduced from 21C onwards. As you can see here, this is the complete syntax change you will see in the for loop statement starting from 21C onwards. Few of such enhancements I have already covered as part of the previous video. I would strongly suggest you to watch the previous video for a better understanding of the for loop enhancements. For example, stepped control, single control and how to chain multiple iterations together. All those things I have already covered as part of the previous video. In this video, we are going to see one specific functionality called mutability of the iteron that is mutability of the loop variable. That is what we are just going to see in this video. There are few additional enhancements available in this for loop that I will cover in the upcoming videos. So before getting into the demo, I just want to quickly show you the documentation for the mutability of iteron property. As you can see here, the mutability property of iteron determines whether or not it can be assigned in the loop body. So before that, let me just quickly show you a simple for loop example. So here is a very simple for loop example that iterates from 1 to 5 and it just prints the value of i. So for every loop iteration, the i will get printed starting from 1 to 5. So basically what happens here in this for loop is the loop will automatically take care of incrementing this loop variable i nothing but the i trend. Okay. So every time whenever the every time the loop gets executed, the i will be automatically incremented by 1 and that is what we are just printing as part of this dmms output statement. Till the previous version of Oracle, we will not be able to change the value of i, that is the i trend or loop variable. But starting from 21c onwards, we have an option to specify whether we can change the value of this loop variable or not. Suppose if we try to change the value of the variable i in this body. For example, exactly the same example, in this case I am trying to change the value of i within the loop body. When we try to change the value of i until previous version, we used to get an error like expression cannot be used as an assignment target because this is just a read only variable and this i trend or this loop variable is completely managed by Oracle and we don't have any control to override the value of this variable. However, starting from 21c onwards, we have a keyword called mutable. By specifying this keyword mutable as part of this loop variable, we can change the value of this variable. And the default is immutable even if you are not specifying anything or even if you specify the keyword immutable. That means that the value of the variable cannot be changed. Now let us see a small demo in 21c to understand how to use this mutability keyword. So as you can see here, I connected to Oracle 21c database. Here is a very simple. Uh, for loop I've just written which will iterate from 1 to 5 as expected this is just printing the values from 1 to 5. Suppose if we just try to change or assign some value to this loop variable let me say i equal to i plus 2. When you try to change this obviously you'll get an error saying that the expression cannot be used as an assignment target because by default the i trend or the loop variable is a immutable variable that is we will not be able to change the value of this variable. However, starting from 21c, we can specify a keyword called mutable. Mutable as part of this variable. Okay, now let me just clear and re execute this program again. As you can see here, initially the i will be 1. Within that loop, we are trying to add plus 2. So at this point, this becomes 3. Again, when this loop re iterate for the next iteration, the 3 will be incremented by the for loop by 1. So it is just printing the 4. So the for loop will always increment by 1. On top of that, we are doing some additional incrementation inside the loop body. Okay. So I just want to show you one more thing. Similar to mutable, even we can specify the keyword immutable. If you are not specifying anything, the default property is immutable only. When you say immutable, that means you are instructing Oracle that this variable cannot be changed. So after specifying immutable or if you are not specifying anything, the, the behavior would be immutable only. That is, if we try to change the value of this variable, we will get an error something like this. Expression cannot be used as an assignment target. Okay. Now let us see one more very interesting part about the mutable. Let me just clear this screen. Let me re-execute as expected. First iteration it is printing 1. Then the next iteration it is printing 4. 
as I told, the for loop will by default increment by 1 and within that we are trying to increment by 2. Suppose if we put i equal to i minus 1. So what will happen is loop variable that is the for loop will increment by 1 and within the body we are decrement by 1. So this will never come out of the loop. So let, let us see what is the behavior here. When I try to execute this, this will just go into an indefinite loop and at some point it will throw an error something like this. As you can see here, always the loop variable here is 1 because the for loop will increment by 1 and within the body of loop we are keep decrementing by 1 and it, it just keep on printing until the buffer overflow error occurs. So please be careful when you are assigning some value so that we should not end up creating some indefinite loop like this. So just to recap our learning here. So here is the default behavior. Until the previous version we will not be able to change the variables value or we will not be able to assign the iterand value. If we try to assign something you will get an error like this expression cannot be used as the assignment target. However from 21c onwards by using a keyword called mutable we can assign a value as part of the uh, loop body. If you have learned something new please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video.